Daniela, Chris Textot is still working out the logistics in terms of what it plans to do here in town to make sure that the roads stay ice free. This is a live look at traffic on Highway 290. Much of their focus right now on those areas well north and west of town where the winter weather could cause some problems. Preparations have already begun ahead of a winter storm that is set to bring snow, ice, and freezing rain across parts of Texas. In North Texas, TxDOT is ready. Trucks loaded with the materials needed to keep the roads ice-free were on the move. Closer to home, crews pre-treated hot spots in Waller and Montgomery counties this morning and this afternoon as those areas could experience treacherous driving conditions. To keep their outdoor plants safe, a few homeowners in this neighborhood ahead of the curve, not waiting until tomorrow to prepare, using sheets to protect the tender vegetation in their front yards. Yeah, this is what we sell. This isn't their first rodeo at Thompson and Hanson. We're pretty good at it, so but a couple hours we can have the whole nursery ready. They're wasting no time getting ready, knowing there's the potential for freeze damage. They're being proactive and plan to use frost cloths to protect their plants from the wind and cold. I would never use plastic because plastic will burn. If you have tropical plants, bring them indoors. I would cover anything uh, maybe that's blooming, that's um, cool weather plants, so in case we have ice, the blooms that get damaged. Now now is also a good time to make sure all exposed pipes, especially sprinkler systems, are covered. You can also use towels and duct tape as long as they're wrapped tightly. <laughs> when it comes to your pets, if it's too cold for you to be outside, it's too cold for them. If you have to be out and about once the weather does move in, make sure that you've got a full tank of gas and always make sure to check the tread on your tires. We are live on the northwest side tonight. Andy Sirota, KPRC 2 News. All right, Andy, thank you. Well, this evening, if you have to be out and about, you know, be very careful. But as you also turn up that heat while the temperatures drop over the next few days, first responders want to make sure that you are doing everything you can to stay safe. The Spring Fire Department has a few tips, like making sure space heaters are no closer than three feet from anything flammable, and such as paper or cloth. Be careful with things like that. And if you're using a fireplace or wood stove to stay warm, make sure it's well maintained. Never ever use lighter fluid or gasoline to help start it. And number one of all, have the basic equipment that can save your life. When you go to sleep, your olfactory glands, uh, you cannot sense smell, and that's why you have to have an audible smoke alarm. So that smoke detector is one of the most important safety items to have in your home. Make sure it's working. If you don't have one, check with your local fire department. Many will just come out and install them for you for free.